New at 6, the Smithsonian now paying tribute to a D.C. street artist who died suddenly last week. We're talking about 47-year-old Danny Hawk. He was best known for his tag, Cool Disco Dan. Back in the 1980s and 90s, his graffiti lined brick halls and covered the landscape of Washington. A 2014 documentary on his life, his art, and his legacy was screened at the Anacostia Community Museum. Adelia Gonsalves was there. We write in graffiti because of the fact that I love for go-go. The stories that we tell here of people that who not necessarily were famous people, like in the history books, but they certainly are famous to the citizens of this uh, city. Cool Disco Dan. I didn't know him personally, but I knew him through his art. Back in the day, he used to ride the subway in D.C. or walk the streets of D.C., see his work all over the place. He didn't like go destroying people's buildings and their houses and storefronts and stuff like that. He did it most of the time on abandoned buildings because during that time, a lot of the buildings that cost a million dollars were abandoned. You didn't have to go to a gallery. You didn't have to go to a museum. You would see his artwork everywhere. He was an original. He didn't copy and it was very simplistic. He says your name, the whole house heard it. All the go-go bands knew who he, who he was. They would always call his name out in the go-go. So he was a very popular person, but silent. And sometimes they say giants move in silence. It's ubiquitous and there's not a lot of things that are constant in our city anymore. Things come and they go and um, you know, Cool Disco Dan, like I remember seeing his stuff since I was a kid and I still see his tags places, so it's, it's constant. Why is it more important now to remember um, folks like Cool Disco Dan? Because it can easily be erased. And what he did won't be done again in that time, in that space, in that way. And so what he did was Extraordinary. Extraordinary. Thank you. You might not know the name, you might not know the face, but you know that art if you've been around D.C. for any length of time. Another tribute for Cool Disco Dan now set for August 19th at the 930 Club. Organizers also raising money for a monument to honor the D.C. icon. Two islands on North